2K Sports and the PGA Tour. Proud to bring you the season-long race for the FedEx Cup. Today's coverage of the Arnold Palmer Invitational is about to begin. Pleased you could join us for this first round action. I'm Luke Elby alongside Rich Beam in the booth and this week we are at Arnold Palmer's Bay Hill Club in Orlando, Florida. And what are the players up against here with the opening hole, Rich? 460 yards dog leg from right to left. The fairway bunkers are in play with drivers and three woods. You want to avoid those at all costs. Second shot into a very narrow green that's dotted by bunkers. Well, it's set up for an exciting event. Can't wait to get into this. And let's see what he can do here today. No harm, no foul there with that shot. And take us through the approach shot. It's uh, not easy to run the ball onto the green. It's not. Your approach shot has to come in high and soft with a lot of spin as there's just not much depth to this green. Not much movement either, fairly flat, although there is a ridge that bisects this green in two. You want to make sure that you're on the correct side of that ridge to have a good opportunity to make the putt. Well, Rich, that's ideal. A birdie to start the day. I can't ever recall him making a birdie and feeling bad about it. So, yes, birdie on the first, great job. The second hole is a long par three, old typical Redan style at 230 yards. Yes, the green runs from right to left and chases away from the player on the tee. You can hit it short right and have it bounce on to the flag sticks that are on the right. However, when they're in the back left, you don't want to come up short and left in a low area. That'll leave a very difficult up and down. Oh, that one's straight at the pipe. Left yourself an opportunity. 16 feet to the cup. This for back-to-back -back birdies. Just didn't drop. He's got a par out here. Let's see if he can make it. Our work here is done. Let's head to the next hole. Currently one under for the event. Rich, the first exposure to the famous lake here at Arnold Palmer's Bay Hill Club and Lodge is the third. There's a lot of intimidating tee shots on this golf course, Luke. This could be number one. Water down the left-hand side you obviously want no part of. But if you miss it right in the rough, that is very gnarly and nasty to come out of. The green works away from the player moving from right to left. The miss is out to the right, but watch out. It's awfully quick coming down that green. Don't chip it or putt it in the water. Wonderful effort. Okay, let's get back to it, shall we? Time for the second shot into the third. This one looks to be heading towards the green. What a shot! Almost went in the bucket. That was special. Be nice to see this one go down. Let's see if they make it. 
And the putt drops, and we're moving on. Well, that was a positive hole. A little shift up the leaderboard. Well played. The first of the par fives Rich, the fourth hole. Yes, Luke, you got out of bounds on the right-hand side. That shouldn't come into play for the players, but those bunkers down the left-hand side certainly will. If you get a good tee shot away and you find the fairway, the second shot uphill to this par five, you can reach, but still lots of trouble lurking around this green. Not bad. Let's take a look at JT just a little while ago. Good look here for a second shot. Nicely hold. A couple under at this stage. Well, this person displays the power game in pure fashion there. I tell you what, what a sensational play. This player stepped up their game, a bold play, hopefully a bold reward. This really looks good. Beautiful shot. And with that, he'll move to four under par. Current leader is enjoying a one-shot lead. The fifth at Bay Hill is the shortest par four on the front nine, measuring just under 400 yards, Ridge. Placement off the tee, critical here. It is. It plays straight downhill the entire way, so most players not taking driver out and challenging those bunkers. Lay up short of those, and you'll have a short shot to a green that once again chases away from you at the back end of it. This is full send. Second shot here on the fifth. Oh, you beauty, an eagle. And that'll be a big boost to his standings on the leaderboard. And it's worth taking another look at that one. This shot was absolutely perfect. Looks just as nice on the second viewing. Currently six under for the round. Now we head to the famous par five, sixth rich. A lot of players are thinking birdie, maybe even eagle. Out to the right, most definitely the widest part of the fairway, just left of the left-hand bunker out there. We'll leave a layup out to the right, and then you just have a short pitch on from there this is a really solid birdie opportunity playing this shot from about 210 yards out Opting for the five iron. Oh, I like that strike. This one's hitting well towards the green. Tell you what, they've got their rhythm going there. That's another green in reg. It has been fantastic to watch all week long. This player is dialed in. Henny, you've had the chance to have a look over this one? He's got 10 feet here. I think he likes it. 
looking really good this one time to take a look at some of the action from elsewhere on the course this is a beauty out of the fairway bunker a great strike by ricky fowler and now we can take a look at how that play affects the leaderboard the leader now has a one-stroke advantage let's have a look at the seventh hole of par three finally you have a green that pitches back towards you ever so slightly luke but still coming into it with a good six five iron from 195 yards it's still a difficult task to get it close this one's got eyes for the flag stick great shot in the hole yes sir better than most luke love it let's take another look hole in one i could watch this on repeat Now we go to the 13th where this happened just a moment ago. Justin Thomas with an amazing shot. Solid putt that. Let's return to live play now. Our current leader is enjoying a one shot lead. What kind of shot are they facing here, Henny? Yeah, he's got a round 125 here. This looks to be hit pretty well from where I'm standing. Well, that's well played into birdie range here at the eighth. Just three feet to the cup. And down it goes. Now five strokes behind. Let's take a look at the final hole on the front nine, the ninth, and what a tough tee shot it is. It is it ever. Players want to avoid the bunker down the left-hand side, so inevitably they push it out to the right-hand side, into the rough, into the trees. Now they've got really very little chance of reaching the green in two. So this is probably the most difficult tee shot on this front nine and one they have to find the fairway with. John, give us a small update. Hey guys, we are checking in with Ricky Fowler as he gets set for his next shot here on the 11th. Well, this one's going right at the flag. Oh, that is simply brilliant. What a shot. Oh, so good what a shot penny what have they got in front of them here yeah, he's about 155 from this whole location this one is right down the pipe well that's beautifully judged and this one for back-to-back -back birdies Well, this would be a good putt to make, and with it, a share of third spot. Nice one. Fourth booty of the day. I will take that also into the top five now. Well, Rich, 
We're heading into our final nine holes here, but I tell you what, I'm thinking about that ace this player made on that front nine. What a ripper. I, I tell you, it, it's hard to forget it, isn't it? What a moment. What a what a shot. Incredible stuff. Let's see if they can calm themselves down for the final nine. Our coverage continues here at the 12th. This is their fifth shot. Big time play that one at the right time too. All over the parking lot, but a chip in for par saves the day. Okay, let's get back to the action. All right, we're going with an extra club here. A wonderful shot and a chance for birdie here on the 10th. Mark it down, that's birdie number five. So no change on the leaderboard for this player after that hole. The par for 11th resembles the par for third, doesn't it? The big lake on the left-hand side. It does. It just has a little more landing room here on the left-hand side, however. But if you lay back, be prepared to go in with a long iron. If you take the driver out and successful, you now turn this challenging hole into almost a birdie opportunity. Oh, that was pure. This shot from 120 yards. Three shots off the lead. This looks to be heading to the green. Pay attention, folks. That's how you play golf. Full of confidence as well with their putter. Gotta like their chances. Just three feet to go to the hole. Don't miss this. They can be costly. Is currently sitting in fourth position. And the 12th hole, Rich, similar to the fourth hole. Arnold Palmer has really started to mimic front and back nines. He does. It's kind of the same thing. Out of bounds, out to the right. You got to avoid both those bunkers there, both right and left. You find the fairway. Again, second shot slightly uphill to a green that sits above you. One of the big dangers here, though, is going long. That is a big no-no to miss it long on this 12th. Yeah, that one will play. Playing from around 230 yards. Just a couple back from our leader. Oh, tidy looking shot that. And this putt to move into a tie for first place. He's made it for Eagle. He's currently tied for first. Always like to see your name moving up the leaderboard, never a bad thing. Number 13, not a long hole by anyone's stretch, but the pond in front of the green really plays havoc. It does, more so than it should. It's just a long iron or a hybrid off the tee. Find the fairway down the right-hand side, open up the angle for your second shot, and it's obvious you just don't want to miss your second shot right. So bail out to the left-hand side, make a par. Pretty simple. Time for another Tony Fidel highlight. Fantastic touch on this one. Oh, that's the shot. Go ahead and make one. Don't worry about getting it up and down. Okay, time to return to the action. Second shot here on the 13th. Nicely done. 
This is an opportunity now to move to 17 under par. That was a gallant attempt. Putting for a par here. In she goes. Let's head to the next. And that makes him tied for first. And another of the uphill par threes, the 14th, Rich. This is such a difficult hole because it, this tee shot lines you up over on the left-hand side where you'll find those bunkers. But if you bail out to the right, well, now you're running into a low area that you have a pretty difficult chip shot to a green that historically is the firmest and fastest on this golf course. Uh, this player's dialed in. What a shot. Phenomenal approach shot, that one. Got to say, I can't see them not making birdie here, Luke. And at the end of that hole, he's gone into clear outright leader. As we get into the closing stretch here at Bay Hill, the 15th, the par four. Strong par four, your dog legs from left to right. Don't miss it out to the right in that bunker. Not only are you hitting your second shot out of the trap, but also you've got some magnolia trees to deal with. This is a very difficult fairway to find because that fairway does chase away from you just over that bunker. This is a very strong par four. Yeah, give yourself a pat on the back. Do you like the view from where you're standing, Henny? Yeah, he's looking at maybe a little over 130 to the pin. Oh, this is on a fantastic line. Is it the right distance? Oh, almost went in. That's nicely done. It's time for another highlight. Let's head to the 17th hole. Lining up for his third now. And it drops into the bucket. What a shot. Right on four feet. Should make this one. This is what they have left for Birdie here. The putt drops, and that's back to back birdies. Kind of like it. Two in a row. And maintaining top spot on the leaderboard after that. Well, one of the great parts of the finish here of Bay Hills Club and Lodge, Rich, is the fluctuations in scoring, and it all starts here at the par 5 16th. Luke, you got to take advantage of this par 5. It's just over 500 yards. Find the fairway. Don't flirt with either of those bunkers out there. Second shot should be with a middle to long iron to a green that's surrounded by water on the left and bunkers on the right. But still, it's a great opportunity to make four or better. Rich, good chance to get this green in two. Yes, this player's found the fairway, and now they've got the opportunity to knock this on in two. Be wary of coming up short and left, obviously, in the water, but don't be anxious to miss it out to the right, especially in that bunker that's over in the middle of the green on the right-hand side. That really can wreak havoc with the players. Try and find the green at all costs with this second shot. Well, this is exciting. A putt for an eagle. He's making this look easy. Keeps surging ahead. Our man on the ground. John, he's down there. What's the news? Well, I'm over on the 17th. Tony Finau is lining up his next shot. 
opting for the three iron here. This one looks like it'll safely make the green. That's outstanding. Hole in one, pump up the volume. How about that shot? Our leader is currently enjoying a four stroke advantage. The par 317th Rich has got a wonderful atmosphere around it. Looks visually quite stunning, but my word, it's a brute. This hole causes more stress for the players, I think, than any other hole on the golf course, with possibly the exception of number three. This green is nearly impossible to find as it is so firm historically through the years. You find the green, you make your three, and you're smiling earlobe to earlobe. That was a beauty right against the hole. A wonderful shot and a chance for Booty here on the 17th. Pretty straightforward four-footer coming up here. Always nice to hold those for a birdie. Now, five shots up after that hole. Rich, as we head to the finishing hole here at Bay Hill, a famous finishing hole. So much drama over the years, predominantly by the great Tiger Woods. But most of the drama starts off the tee. It does. This is actually a semi-blind tee shot. There's a mound down the right-hand side of the fairway where you can't see the golf balls land. So players won't know whether they found the fairway or missed it right or even out on the left-hand side. Most iconic moments in all of golf, in my mind's eye, Robert Gomez holding his second shot here back in 1990 to claim the title. Oh, what a gorgeous looking shot that is, Rich. Well, take notes, folks. That's how you do it. And as good as they putt, you almost have to guarantee this one. An opportunity for a booty here. And with that, this round comes to a close.